Today, I'm going to teach you how to get the best ballistic pistol in the entire game, and you can do this at the start of the game, though this weapon does scale with your level. Let's talk about it. This is a great weapon every time you New Game Plus, if you're a pistol user. It scales with your level upon looting it. The, it's the most John Wick pistol in the entire game because it is long-barreled and has a compensator, just like the movies. It's great for non-particle beam pistol builds, and it's super quick to get. Let's get started. So right now, I am here in New Atlantis. Let me show you. I've got to show people on the map because they, sometimes they always leave a comment. Right here, Alpha Centauri. At Alpha Centauri. This is, you know, right after the tutorial. You'll go to Jemison, and then from Jemison, you'll go to New Atlantis. And I will show you how to get there. We're going to be doing a little a three-piece side quest uh, with the Gal Bank in order to win this, and you have to do this in a specific way to be able to receive the weapon. If you try to just free ball it, you won't receive the weapon at the end of the quest line. So I'm going to show you how to get there. We're going to just just follow the path that I'm taking on screen. All right. If you see this fountain, you take you, you go to the right. You'll see the tram over here, and uh, you'll know you're in the right place if you see this Gal Bank on the left. That's the Terra Brew store. So go to the right of that. Here is the transit car. We're going to go to the Mast District now, and once we get there, I'll show you how to get to the Gal Bank, and you do want to make a save just in case you mess things up and, and fudge the whole storyline or the side quest, because it can bug out, so we're just going to make a little emergency save once we get there, and once you've loaded in, you're simply going to run to the bank. It's really simple. It's really easy to get there. Once you leave the tram, just go up the ramp, and we're going to take a, a left... And we're going to go like full 180 degree left. And then we're going to run over here. So you're going to follow this path. You see this big building that says mast on it. You're just going to take a right uh, down the pathway here. Ob well, obviously, you'd want to take a right over there. But I'm just going to boost over this uh, this water. And there we are. There's the gal bank. Pretty easy to find. It's the big building that says gal bank on it. Very hard to miss. And then uh, we're going to go talk to a gentleman, and he is going to give us the quest here. And uh, this gentleman right here on the left, his name is Landry Holyfield. Go ahead and make a good, good old save here, and I'm going to time this. All right, so you talk to the bank teller man, and you just, you just hit the first option at the top. Use your quest, you know, thingy to tell you where to go, land on the planet. And then go approach the guy. If you want to level persuasion by one, you can go ahead and persuade this guy. You will get a better reward if you persuade him. But for the sake of the video, I just roasted him with the lasers. Because that's funny to me, burning people alive. You know, the usual, you know, war crimes. Go back to the teller. Tell him you get a good job murdering a person over money. The next one is to just kill some ships, which I did. And uh, then you just teleport back. Tell the bank teller you blew up their ships. Now, you can board them and talk to them and stuff. And I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, don't quote me on that. That might not be in the game anymore. The third one is, is bugged because all the enemies are hostile. But normally, if you're... Allied with the pirates, you can you can talk to the lady, and she, she'll she come to the surface eventually, or you can go down and find her. I just killed enemies on the top until she surfaced, and then I killed her. Because, again, that makes filming the video much easier. Seven minutes in, not too bad. And then we go back again to the bank teller, just to show you how quick this is. Talk to the bank teller. And then my quest bugged out for a bit, and I didn't see it update, so I, I talked to him a few more times. Eventually, he gave me the quest, and then you're gonna land... And then you gotta talk to this guy. This guy is like a retired mercenary. And the live version of me will take over from here. Here we are. Once you get to this part of the quest line called Collect Delinquent Mercenaries Debt, you have to make a very specific choice. We're going to pay off his debt, which costs 10,000 credits, which you will have earned from the quest rewards thus far. Now, I will mention that I'm just killing everyone in this playthrough, but if you use persuasion or do things peacefully and talk to the, the people that owe money, you will get a bigger uh, credit reward from them. So when you talk to this guy, just talk to him for a bit and then pay off his debt. If you do anything else, you will not receive the pistol. So I'm just going to say, uh, you know, ask him some questions. Why did he default? And he says he just wants to live a comfy life. And then I'm here to collect what I can. And then he's going to say that it's basically he'll fight you if, uh, you know, if you don't buzz off, right? You also have the option to say, oops, I, I couldn't find you. Sorry, haha, <laughs> Lamau. But instead, ask him, how much do you owe? And he'll say 10000 
and then you say pay 10,000 credits down here, which is, you should never do this in real life, obviously, but, uh, basically he gives you his, he's a mercenary, so he gives you his gun, and this scales with your level, it's called the Solus, and depending on what level you are is how strong it is. So here we go, we have the Solus, and uh, it's 195 physical damage, very powerful, it's got all, it's got a full weapon mods, it doesn't have any rare or legendary modifiers, but it does have, you know, the weapon mods itself. So, uh, Long Barrel and Compensator is what John Wick uses on, primarily in most of the movies. But this also has Laser Sight, Tactical Grip, Hair Trigger. This thing is an absolute beast of a weapon. It is very powerful. I just want to see, does he have 10,000 on him? No, he doesn't. But he has 1,000 on him. Yoink. Anyway, uh, so, you know, collect a little bit of that back. And uh, there you go. We uh, we have this. Also, when you turn in the quest, you will receive some more credits to make up for the credits you just gave him. And there we go. This is an amazingly powerful super weapon. It is absolutely... Oh, I it was only only about 10 minutes. I forgot to stop the timer. But uh, yeah, very powerful weapon. Let's actually test it out on some very powerful enemies, shall we? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spawn in... A pirate lord, level 98 pirate lord. There he is. And I have nothing in, in pistols. Okay, I missed two shots, three shots I've missed now. I'm not a very good aim with the pistol, I guess. But, uh, yeah, let's let's take a shot there. There we go. That did a, a good chunk of damage. And, well, that wasn't too hard. Here, let's spawn two of them now because one was too easy. All right, these guys have better weapons, but, uh... It's about three three or four headshots to kill a level 98 pirate legend, so not bad. And again, you can see my skills here. I do have a little bit in ballistics, but I don't have anything in pistols. So, you know, if I put a point in pistols, there we go. Now we deal a little bit more damage, and uh, it's not too bad. Now, I will say that, you know, this is specifically for a pistol playthrough. This is probably the least, you know, weird pistol in the game. It's just a normal freaking pistol, you know? It shoots bullets, whatever, and... Um, Alright, let's do 20 Pirate Legends now, and actually use a, you know, a full auto weapon here. You know, maybe a grenade launcher. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Enjoy your legendary super weapon. I'm just gonna, you know, grenade launch all these dudes. Why is my grenades not... They're not exploding. What the hell? That's so weird. <laughs> why is it... Why is it not exploding in fire? I don't know. Game's bugged out. Too many enemies. Something's going on, but... It's a Pirate Lord Massacre, Legend Massacre, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Soul Benji. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm out of video ideas. I can really use your help. Uh, tell me what you want to see. And uh, thank you so much. If you don't click the video on the right side of the screen, then when you try to do this quest, you're going to accidentally kill them or forget that you don't have enough money or something else will happen. I don't know, but something bad and mysterious will definitely happen. If you don't click the video on the right side right now, you got five seconds to click it. Four, three, two, it's too late. The bad thing will happen. Meow, 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 meow. Anyway, see y'all later.